Okay, the structure faces south. So this puts us on the west side, the west side of the garage. This is the fence gate. We've had some plumbing repairs here. And this plumbing was likely added for the laundry. That's a closed dryer vent. Hood's kind of cracked. Is that paint? That's paint. That's paint. Well, we got this exhaust vent, waste vent, fumes. It's underneath the eave. And that vent should either have a 90 degree elbow on it and then an air admittance valve installed or it should have a 90 degree angle on it and it should continue on through the roof covering but it doesn't it's a wood house a wood house even these shingles these these are wood shingles on the side they're not asbestos It's been painted through the years. We got cracking and peeling paint. We get that. Not sure what this. I think got some mastic over here. Somebody's been trying to mitigate some water moving through here. No doubt. I'm not sure what this board's about. It's here, all right. Okay, whether you're talking about bricks or shingles, siding, or door panels or shingles. The first row, the bottom row, is the first row, second row, third row, fourth row. It goes the same with just about anything. On the garage metal overhead door, car entry, the first two panels are bent. And we've got a little bit of wood rod over here. And then, of course, we had some wood rotting over there. The reason being is it was in direct contact like the other video, is in direct contact with the cement, capillary action, it wicked up, and caused the wood to rot there. These bushes are a little close. There you are. Speaking of capillary action, we talked about this post not having a stand on the roofing video. It was before this one. See this baseboard that's around the patio? It, that's covering up damage covering up damage because the siding was in direct contact with the porch and that was wicking up and, and caused the damage I'm talking about. Again, storm doors are beyond the scope of this inspection. The bottom rail, that's the old top rail. A bit the bottom rail. Okay, he's kind of bent up, a little worse for wear. You can see it in here. He doesn't pull closed real well. He doesn't. Coming on along, that's the exterior faucet that does not have the vacuum breaker on it. Siding, this is the, the first bedroom. It's a little soft right in there. I don't want to force it. It's not super soft. I don't want to force it. I could, I could punch through it though. Got a little wood rot starting there. Paint's peeling off of the faux shutters. Double pane aluminum frame windows. They're not, not original to the house, that's for sure. But they're not spring chickens either. They're not spring chickens either. The house used to be a different color, obviously. Coming on along. Nails, not screws. The ground here is level, and that's why they have these bricks to try to save the foundation from water adversely affecting it. That said, the ground is dry. The ground is dry. That will adversely affect the foundation as well. And when they came in and they painted this, it looks like they raked, and that, that's pooky right there. That's pooky. That's a little wood, wood glue, plastic wood, Bondo. All right. Now that it's been painted, it's encapsulated. 
but scraping like that is you could have it tested for lead but you're probably going to find lead as long as it's encapsulated it's not going to affect you that's the thing that's the thing encapsulation but when it comes time to scrape this all down again you're going to need to respect it and treat it as if you were scraping off lead paint.